How you doing? Uh, it's going to do the Laplace transform of this right here, t times e to the minus at. Real quick, the things you'll need to know are how to integrate, and you'll need to know this Laplace transform equation right here. The integral from um, 0 to infinity, uh, f of t times e to the minus st uh, with respect to t. So uh, start off with your equation, um, 0 to infinity, f of t, and our f of t is t e to the minus a t, as in our equation there. And so that's our, that's our f of t. That's our f of t. Now we need our e to the minus, e to the minus s t, t t. All right, and our next step is going to be to combine these two terms right here. Combine this term and this term. Okay. So the integral from 0 to infinity, t, and then e, whenever you have two variables multiplied by each other, uh, you add their exponents. So I'm going to pull out a minus t. And then that will leave me with S plus A. Okay, I think I think that's that's it there. So now this is quite simple. You take the integral of this, and the easiest way to do that is tabular method. Basically, you want to have one column that you differentiate, and the other side you want to integrate. Typically, your most complex term is going to be your integral, but the main benefit is taking your simplest term that's going to have an ending point. When you differentiate it, it'll go to 0. So you always want to kind of go from that perspective. So t, the derivative of t is 1 and 0. The integral of this is simply itself over uh, remember, we're taking the integral with respect to t. So what comes down here is the coefficient minus s plus a, right? And then we do that again, e minus t s plus a. Okay, and so we throw that down there, and then we're just going to square it. And basically, any time you have this term, you're going to square, that negative goes away because you, you're multiplying by another negative. Okay? So let's, let's go over here and let's put this, let's put this all together. Um, and this is tabular method. Tabular. And so when tabular, this is what you do. You multiply these two terms here and you put a addition sign and you multiply these two terms and you put a subtractive sign between them. So I'll show you. T and we have a minus here. We have this minus, so we gotta account for that. So we're gonna get the minus e to the minus t s plus a all over s plus a. Right here there's no minus term, so we have to account for this one. Minus and then 1 times this is just going to be minus t s plus a all over s plus a quantity squared. Now don't forget we're integrating so there are boundaries when you integrate and we need to integrate from 0 to infinity. So plug in our first boundary. If we plug this in here, if we plug in infinity um, what we're going to get is uh, we're going to get this will go down because there's a negative. This will go down here because we plug in this infinity. This is going to go down here. So basically what we'll end up with is infinity over infinity. But but we know how to do the Laplace trans the the uh, L'Hopital, uh rule and and basically that what what that states is you take the uh, derivative of this and the derivative of this term. Well this came in here. And 
this whole term came in here. So we take the derivative of this and the derivative of this. But we already know that when we take the derivative of this, uh, we get a 1 or a 0. Uh, we get a 1. So we'll take the derivative of this, so that's going to be, that's going to turn into a 1. What this will turn into when we do that L'Hopital's rule, this will be a negative 1 over this term. And uh, this term, when we take the, when we take the derivative of this, it, it's only going to get larger and larger and larger. So it's going to be over infinity. Okay. Hopefully you guys keep up with that. Um, and when you have an, a finite number over an infinite number, that equates to zero. Okay. So what we have for the first term is zero. Now we need to put our infinity here. And notice that there's no secondary term here. This negative is going to drop this down. It's going to be a 1 over basically a very, very large number to infinity. So minus 0. Okay? So put that in brackets. Next, you it's your, it's your final term minus your initial when we're evaluating our integrals. Plug in our 0 here. This is going to go to 0 right? We plug in 0 here. This is going to go to 1, right? Okay, so 0, let's put it down here, 0. Our minus sign, minus 1 over s plus a squared, right? So, and then uh, distribute this negative, distribute this negative here, and basically, we end up with 1 s plus a squared. And that's that's the, I, I suppose, the brute force way of going about it, or just using the equation to go about it. Um, you could always uh, use the, you can memorize the equations where the Laplace transform of, uh, of t is equal to n factorial over s to the n plus 1, which that will give us, if we take the integral of that t, that will give us 1 over s squared, which we kind of have that here, but we, not really. So when we, when we multiply t times e to the minus a t, take the Laplace of that, what happens if you can see here, it shifts it. It, don't, it shifts it by an a. So, what we do is um, s plus a two. Or you could look at it like this. If I can erase this, minus minus a minus a. Let's turn into a plus. Okay. All right, guys, hope that helped you out. Remember, uh, just subscribe, like the channel, give me some feedback. Y'all take care.